Hi everybody, if you're looking to grow vegetables at home but you're worried that you haven't got all the items and equipment that you need, then stick around because in this video I'm going to show you how to grow vegetables from scraps using some common household items that you've probably already got at home. lockdown or staying at home time, whatever you want to call it at the moment, where we're all suddenly at home with lots of time on our hands looking for things to do. Now, we got involved in a project a couple of weeks ago before we were uh, fully at home with Marks and Spencers and Mums Net, where we started to grow some herb gardens and some things indoors. It got us really inspired, it got us going in terms of growing things, um, but we were really lucky at that time that we had everything that we needed and we had all of the equipment Obviously now with the coronavirus situation, people are only supposed to go out to buy essential items, particularly plant pots and things. Some people might not argue are essential at the moment, but that shouldn't stop you because you can still get growing using things that you've probably already got. So what are you gonna need to get growing? Well, one thing I have to say first off is that you will need some compost. Now this seems to be available from most of the supermarkets at the moment, so hopefully you won't have too much trouble getting your hands on some of that. Maybe you've even got some left over from last year, but that's the one essential item that you possibly won't already have at home. Next up, you're gonna need something to actually grow things in. Now these make perfect containers. These are just fruit, this is a grape container and this had some strawberries in so you may well already be receiving these from your supermarket obviously we're all trying to do away with plastic but at the moment these are still in use so why not make sure you get true value out of them the great thing about these is that they've already got holes in the bottom so they're containers that you can use that have got built-in drainage and that's really important when you're getting your seedlings growing and you're sowing them um, but you will need something to put underneath them now I've got a spare baking tray here so I'm going to use this so my couple of containers are just gonna sit in there and then when I water my uh, vegetables, then the, that gives the water somewhere to drain. So what can you plant if you can't get your hands on packets of seeds? Now this is another thing you still may be able to get hold of quite easily with your weekly shop, but if you can't, don't fear because you obviously already eat lots of things that have seeds in. Things like tomatoes and peppers, you can just take the seeds directly out of the fruit and vegetables and plant them from there. So let's get going. So first of all, you need to fill your pots up with some compost. All purpose compost. If you haven't got all of the tools you need, your hands will do perfectly well. If we just move that into the pots so that it's evenly distributed. And then we need to make some lines to sow our seeds. So we can just use our fingers to do that. And for this pot here, I've got some pepper seeds that I just took out of the pepper that we were cutting up for dinner. And in this pot here, I'm going to try and sow some lettuce from a packet I already had in the shed. If you are able to get your hands on packets of seeds at all, things like lettuce are quite fast growing. And this has come again lettuce, so hopefully it will see us going for several weeks and months ahead. So things to remember when you're sowing the seeds are not to put them too close together and push them about a quarter of an inch in. Once your seeds are in, you just need to pat them down to make sure that they're securely in. And then you need to give them some water. Now, you need to make sure that the um, soil stays moist, that the compost stays moist, but you don't want to saturate it. So watering it every day is probably about right. So this is a packet of the cut and come again lettuce, and we're just gonna pop that into the bigger container. Quite a lot of seeds in the pack so we're going to save half of these to plant again later. Now just make sure that all of those are covered, pat them down and then you can give them the water. Now the next thing to think about is heat. They're going to grow a lot quicker if you can get them in a nice, sunny, warm spot. In fact, they have to be a certain temperature to actually start to sprout. I think it's around 19 degrees. So if you've got a south facing windowsill, that would be perfect. One thing you can do to help create a bit more heat and keep them a bit more warm is use some cling film if you have some and put that over the top with a couple of holes in and that'll just help to create a warmer environment for them to grow in. So now these are done, 
done, all we need to do is put them onto the windowsill and let them grow. I will report back and let you know how we get on in a couple of weeks with those. I'd expect to uh, get some shoots within a week or so. And in fact, I've got some to show you that we've started just over a week ago here. So this one here, this is what we've basically tried to create. This is our makeshift version of this. Um, and we've had some chives growing in here, which we planted about 10 days ago. They're already coming through really nicely. They've just been sitting in the sun. We had about a week of really good sun um, that got those going. And uh, yeah, they're carrying on really quite well now. Um, we've also got growing some uh, carrots in here. So we planted these about six days ago and there's already some small shoots coming through. So they're really loving that nice warm spot on our south facing window. And in here we've got some mint growing as well. And we've also got, let me just grab it. About five days ago we created uh, these pots with tomato seeds in. Nothing's coming as from there as of yet, but hopefully we'll get something appearing very soon too. So I hope that that's given you enough information to get started and perhaps inspired you a little that this is something that you can do from home with very few resources so you don't need to go trepsing off to the shops for unnecessary trips. Um, other than that, just to say that I hope that you're doing well in this current time. Um, obviously it's challenging for lots of people for lots of different reasons, um, but I hope that you are staying positive at home, uh, wherever you are, whatever your situation is. For us, we're pretty busy because we're still trying to work at home and we've got the kids as well. And I think that's probably our saving grace being busy. We, um, we're just kind of getting on with it, thinking of all those people obviously working in the NHS and key workers who are still having to go out um, to work, supporting the people around us as and where we can and um, just in true British style, just carrying on really. Um, but thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and come back soon. And if you have any of your own tips for surviving um, quarantine and isolation or any gardening tips as well to share, please feel free to post them in the comments below. That's all for now, bye bye.